We've been trying to define and determine the meaning of so much of the language coming out of the COP26 summit. The latest term that's piqued our interest is carbon budgets. Who's setting them and what role they play in fighting climate change? Well, Dr. Sven Teska has been leading a team at the University of Technology, Sydney, that's hoping to show that it's still possible to limit global warming to one and a half degrees Celsius. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the programme. But let's start with that first question. What exactly is a carbon budget? A carbon budget is basically the amount of carbon we are allowed to emit in order to uh, stay under 1.5 degrees plus. Um, so that means uh, the International Panel of Climate Change defined uh, 400 gigatons of CO2 can be emitted. And then we have to be at zero. Otherwise, we exceed our temperature rise by 1.5 degrees. Okay. We've pinpointed some 12 uh, industrial and service sectors such as construction, uh, energy and aviation. Uh, how can these industries monitor their carbon budgets then and bring them down to net zero? Uh, in the last two years, we did a, a very detailed bottom-up analysis. That means we um, assessed the um, economic development they projected. Uh, we assessed the, the technology they use, what kind of energy demand they have. And then we projected with uh, GDP, so with economic development, um, their demand, all those different industries and services demand into the net future until 2050. And then we developed a scenario, uh, an energy scenario to supply all those industries. And then we went down to each of those industries like cement, steel, aluminum, but also aviation and shipping in order to calculate what is the exact budget. And what are the steps in between, between now and 2050, every five years, where they need to be? So we need to have specific parameters in terms of how much CO2 per kilometer, for example, travel uh, is allowed in 2025 and 2030 and so on. So they've got this clear roadmap that you've outlined for them, but are they going to take it up and adopt it? Um, we work together with the Net Zero Asset Owner Alliance, which means um, that is an alliance of investors they represent 10 trillion US dollars worldwide, um, and they committed to have net zero 2050. So the, those investments in companies like cement or steel industry um, have to actually fulfill those, uh, those benchmarks in order to get the finance. So we see there is some traction right now, and here in Glasgow at the COP, we are actually talking about the implementation of Paris Climate Agreement and how this can be done. And we basically have a very specific uh, plan how this can be done in the future.